lead router. I wanted to talk to you about lead router. Um, first off, before we go to expectations, I want to ask you about lead router. I want to ask you first, if I were to give you all of my sign calls, or you were to give me all of your sign calls, would you have spe specific expectations with that, or would you just say, eh, whatever? How many of you have, have had a listing in the last six months? Hopefully what? everybody has. <laughs> How about the last day. <laughs> if you had a listing in the last six months, and you're able to plant the sign in the front yard, are you getting sign calls? I always think for every sign that you plant, if you handle your sign calls properly, you should be able to do one more transaction just from that sign, from those sign calls, as long as you handle your calls properly. So I hear those leads aren't very good. They're just, you know, they're just dumb leads, and they've already got agents. Well, they're sign calls. Most of them, 80% of them are sign calls. Some of them are internet leads, but most of them are sign calls. So there are sign calls just like any sign calls that you would get on your own listings. Yeah, there's some people, yeah, I'm just calling for information. I'm already working with an agent. I get that, okay? But the bottom line is, if you want to take lead router calls, you should. But if you don't want to, and you're not going to follow up on them, then please don't take them, because then someone else would like to take them and make money with them. Um, the other thing I hear about lead router is, well, I don't think I should have to pay a 25% referral. Okay. I've got a seller. I've got a buyer. And I want to give them to you. Does anybody want them? Okay. All of them. Do, if, if I give it to you, Chris, are you willing to pay me a 25% referral fee? Yes. Okay. That's simple. So Lance could have a bunch of buyer's agents. He could have two or three buyer's agents, and he could give all of his sign calls to those two or three buyer's agents. And he would be able to keep a lot tighter reins on them, and he would be able to basically take it away from them if they didn't do the job. But he chooses not to do that. He chooses to share all of his lead router calls with anyone who wants to participate. And so that's what the 25% is about. I know there's grumbling about it. I'm sorry, but again, if you don't want it, you don't have to take them. And I gotta tell you, 75% of something is a whole lot better than 100% of nothing, right? Yeah. Okay, as far as lead router leads go, we're expecting just a very couple of things. Number one, three documented lead uh, responses. So when you go into your lead router, you're looking, we're looking for left message. Uh, they're working with an agent. I don't care if they're working with an agent. Call them back again. Hey, I talked to you the other day. I know you said you were working with an agent, but here's the again? thing. You're salespeople, okay? <laughs> so you have to ask salespeople type questions. Don't, don't jump right to, are you working with an agent? Not an open-ended question. <laughs> yes, I'm working with an agent. How many people would say, yes, I'm working with an agent, just because they don't really want to give you more information? Yep. Lots, right? So don't ask that question, or at least don't ask it right off the bat. Uh, what kind of questions do you want to ask people when you're, call, when, they're, when you're calling them for a lead router lead? Have you been looking for a while? Exactly. How long have you been looking for a home? How soon do you want to move? What price range are you looking for? What price range are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you yes. looking for? Good. Is this a specific area you're looking for? Good. Why are you looking in this neighborhood? Right. Well, I'm not looking in this neighborhood. Oh, okay. Well, what neighborhood are you looking in? Oh, well, I'm pretty <laughs> wide open. Because you know what you're looking for is you're looking for the hook. You're looking for the conversation. Because the more open-ended questions you ask, the more conversation you have with that person. The more conversation you have with them, then the more likely you are to be able to put together an appointment. And isn't that the goal of the call? is to put together the appointment. So change your thinking a little bit on what you're going to do with your lead router calls. And I know we're in a hurry. I know it's really easy to say, look, have you been pre-qualified? Are you working with an agent? Well, then I'm not going to, I can't work with you. Okay. Go past there a little bit. So we're looking for three documented calls. And then we're just looking for you to be honest about the lead router referrals. So if you sell somebody a lead router property, and I sometimes I check and sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's really hard to check if the seller or buyer's last name isn't in there. I will tell you, we've got a new listing because of lead router. Um, we closed two last month because of lead router. But all in all, our ratio of the calls that come in 
versus the closings that we have is abysmal. I mean, it's abysmal. I mean, it's like one out of... It's abysmal. It's abysmal. Like one out of 500? Yeah. It's awful. It's not even 1%. It's awful. So I think that's because of the our skill level or the way we're taking the calls. So, And also tell them what to do if they say they're working with an agent. Then you're back to how long have you been looking for a house? Are they showing you exactly what you're asking them to show you? Are they following up and answering your calls? Do you have a direct contact with them via email or whatever? <laughs> you can get rid of that. Okay. Talk to All them. All right, this is the deal. Okay, and I know this is a sales meeting and we're supposed to be upbeat and rah rah and all the rest of that, but this is also a business meeting. All right. Okay? On. So, let's lay it out. Okay. I ain't happy. And I know Shelly was going to bring this up, but whenever a lead router comes up, the lead router is, is a really sore spot for me. I'm about ready to change the business model within lead router immediately. Mm -hmm. Business mm -hmm. model has been, basically, to be honest with you, our business model with lead router has been one of recruiting. It has not been one of let's sell these leads no. and actually make money. Okay. Now, recruiting, in theory, is something that is good for the office and we make money on. So for a few years now, the general model that I've used and Shelly has, has managed with Lead Router has been, hey, this is really cool. Come work at Cobalt Banker Pioneer Real Estate. And it's a recruiting tool. We're going to give you leads. Yes, there is a referral attached to them and all the rest of that sort of stuff. But again, the model has basically been one of, let's put it out there to bring agents to our office and then hopefully retain agents within our office. That model is going to change pretty darn quick because it ain't working. The recruiting side may be working, but I am, to be honest with you, tired of looking at sales reports. I, if you come into my office, i got four monitors now. It's a big joke and all the rest of that sort of stuff. One of those monitors is all the leads that go through Lead Router literally every day. Okay, We get anywhere from five to 20 leads a day. Granted, a lot of them come to property management, but there's, you know, there, there's several leads a week, several leads a week that flow through Lead Router. There's two problems. Problem, and I don't know the answer, and I should. It only take me a minute or two uh -oh. to figure it out. This year, I think we have paid out three, maybe five, five. total of maybe five lead router commissions. Oh, that's unacceptable. It's August. It's unacceptable. Okay, which means one of two things are happening, and I think it's probably number one is the leads that are going out are basically just not being handled properly. Um, I hope it's not, you know, we're not being honest about it because we really, we trust you guys. If it's a lead router lead, we expect it. You're going to say, hey, it's a lead router lead and it's going to flow through and there's a 25% referral. But bottom line, this is the change that's going to happen. Effective pretty darn quick, there will be standards to get leads through lead router. Right now, there hasn't been. So bottom line is if you're not converting these leads and you're not handling these leads, you will no longer be eligible for a lead router and you will have to beg to get back in. And it's just, it's just that simple. So if you see value there, and I do know that there are many of you that see value there, which this should just, your ears should, you should have big smiles on your face. So those of you that get it and understand it, I see Steven over there shaking his head, nodding up and down. You're going to say, finally, Lance, I can't believe it's taking you so long to do this because you're giving good leads, frankly, to agents who aren't converting them. So you need to take it seriously. Or if you want, there's an agent in a different office that gets leads, okay? She doesn't want the leads, but she still goes through and checks the leads and accepts the leads, and she's in a sales meeting a week ago saying, I don't want these leads. I'm like, well, then check out of the system. It's, it's so simple, check out and stop accepting the leads. She's not doing anything with them. So at any rate, we're gonna relook how we're gonna handle this lead router. Most of you in this room should see this as an opportunity. Because if you do use lead router and you are basically qualifying these leads, what should happen, what you should see happen almost instantly is your phone call should, or your phone should start ringing a heck of a lot more than it was a week ago. Um, now if you're on the other side of that and you're, you need help with conversion or you want to participate but you're just not, you need help with that. And heck, this is not, you know, you're out. We don't want, this is come to us and let us help you, you know, see what we can do to convert these leads. But the abysmal does not even begin to approach the closing ratio of these leads. Um, our market this year is not much different than last year. If you really look at the sales units closings from 2010 to 2011 year to date, it's about the same. We closed 
five times more lead rider leads than we have so far this year, conservatively. There's one agent in this office last year that closed more leads in lead router than we've closed as an entire company. And I'm talking an entire company. I'm not just talking the Reno Valley office. I'm talking L5 offices, 165 agents. So anyway, you're going to see some changes to lead router. So I hate to you know kind of approach it in that fashion, but it's it's probably it's, it's costing. It's got, frankly, it's costing money. It, it just it's unacceptable. So at any rate, all right. I'm sorry. I'll get off my horse and I'm, I'm done. <laughs>